Next March, Georgia voters choose who they want to see in next fall's presidential election. But how secure will those elections be? Last week, a federal judge ordered the state's computer systems be opened up so the public can see how votes are counted. The decision follows a lawsuit claiming Georgia's voting system is vulnerable to hackers. Jennifer Bellamy shows you how one major tech company is hoping to improve the safety of those votes. Jennifer? Well, Cheryl, Microsoft says it plans to give away software to help guard U.S. voting machines. It's set to launch in a free pilot program in an effort to help begin restoring the public's trust in elections. Time to find solutions. Microsoft moving into the elections arena to help protect votes. The free program, Election Guard, uses encryption to create secure, verifiable voting with tracking codes that voters can use to ensure their votes have been recorded and not tampered with. They're working with election machine vendors and local governments to roll out the system in a pilot program ahead of the upcoming 2020 election. A security expert told NBC News about 30 percent of Americans live in counties with voting systems that leave no paper trail, creating a risky situation. A bill that passed the U.S. House would give $600 million to states to help those counties install more security. But the legislation has stalled in the Senate. So far this election cycle, Microsoft says it's already tracked more than 700 cyber attacks by foreign adversaries, some targeting political groups. Within the last year, Microsoft says it's notified nearly 10,000 customers that they've been targeted or compromised by nation-state cyber attacks. About 84 percent of those attacks targeted enterprise customers like organizations, with about 16 percent targeting personal email accounts. The company said most of those attacks had nothing to do with the democratic process, but it still shows how much nation states depend on cyber attacks to get information or meet other goals. Microsoft says the majority of the suspected nation state attacks have come from Iran, North Korea and Russia. And this isn't the first time that Microsoft has tried to step in and help. Last year, the company introduced a similar free service to political candidates in their campaigns. They've also offered it to political parties, some tech vendors and some nonprofit organizations. All right, Jennifer, thank you.